Right then, Art of Endurance. We go Kenya. We go 10 stages. Severe damage. And we start checking. Okay, so. Late Nakaru R. In the morning. Karura. In the afternoon. Homer Bay Reverse in the afternoon Kenya normal in the sunset sunset Kenya reverse at night Barago uh, also at night Home of Bay regular in the rain. And Deer Island reverse in the rain. Karura reverse in the f fuck fog. Lake Nakaru regular in the sunset. Hopefully that's correct. So Nakaru R, Karura, Homer Bay, Reverse, Kenya, Kenya Reverse, Barago, Baringo, uh, <laughs> I'll put Barago there, Homer Bay Regular, India Island, yeah, that's right, the splits are wrong because they're not long enough. If I like, okay, <laughs> it's only going to show a number of splits, but whatever. Uh, okay, so morning, afternoon, afternoon, sunset, night, night, rain, rain, fog, sunset. Uh, okay. We're going group B, we're going with a 4R6. And yeah. We don't start the splits there. <laughs> Which is a strange one for me. We start the splits now. Not officially, by the way. The time's taken in game. But yeah. We have to try not to kill the car. That's the key thing here. Just take it chill. And drive like... I don't really know a driver who's like really good at managing their tyres. Oh fuck. That's not great. <laughs> not great start. Okay. Not bad. Close to my PB in group two. We go again.
I think the rain stages are really going to be where the difficulty comes. But I have been considering doing Kenya uh, in the rain in either Group B or Group S as my main um, custom rally ship. Although we are now back into a season where potentially not so many speedruns. I feel like like custom rally, I don't think I'll do too much, the speedrun for custom rally, because things like this exist and are kind of happening a fair bit at the minute. Like, why would I do a custom rally when I could grind some more times on an Art of Endurance or a uh, Catface Rally? Championship, you know? Whereas, like, full game speedruns, career mode speedruns, they're a different kettle of fish. They're a different vibe, a different way of playing the game to this than custom rallies. Plus there's just too much choice in custom rally, whereas uh, I don't really, I can't really be asked to do anything more than group 4 in career. I should probably just put a time down over like a series of weekends, just do the two hour runs and stuff when i got a bit of time, but... I'd rather get three attempts in at a group two run at the minute than a two and a half hour group A run. And that's world record pace. I'm probably going to be like more three, four hours nearly. Not bad, not bad. Was a PB on that. Let's see what have I done? No damage so far, and we don't repair. There's no repairs. This is a dangerous one. With the low afternoon sun of Kenya.
absolutely maxed out speed. Yeah, I'm playing in this uh, car, I might as well just ruffle on a bit about uh, the car choice. I like it. I really, I like the design of this car. I like the fact it's small. I just kind of always have done. Um, I think it might have something to do with my introduction to Rally being 2008-ish British Rallycross. Uh, that's where I kind of started getting into Rally, other than Colin McRae. So Group A and, ra and Group B Rallycross cars, basically. The Mini, of course. A lot of banger Minis in the uh, Rallycross scene at the time. Okay, okay. I don't quite know how this timer works still. As long as my in-game time is fine. That's all that matters. Because it seems to like count down right now until it hits the split and then it counts up again. It's like I don't want a split that's completely like ruined by all of that shit. I'm in the Venerable Mountain though now. That was pretty clean for me.
Do not fall off the edge. <laughs> Come on. Boom. Uh, this is Art of Rally. It's a rally game. <laughs> Would you believe it? And I'm doing a silly challenge called Art of Endurance, uh, where we do ten stages, <laughs> which is the longest you can do in a like custom rally, custom staged rally. Uh, and you're not allowed to repair. <laughs> so normally I'd be able to clean the car, repair the gearbox, the engine, the radiator, which wears down. Or if you crash, you can break the suspension. Your car will pull to one side. Um, I'm not allowed that. Yeah. And it's about to get a whole lot harder. Because now we're into two stages of night. My engine's definitely bogging down there. You're meant to be able to repair. Like, the game is built around repairing. That's why this challenge is fun. Uh, the game's also built mostly around six stages rather than ten. But yeah. So the aim is to not hit into things. Oh yeah, and we're in the most likely cars to catch fire. Uh, if you crash. And some of the most uncontrollable cars. I picked what I think is quite a good one. But I think a lot of people disagree that this is a very controllable car. But now I can feel like the car's completely behaving a little bit differently. The way it accelerates and stuff. So we're definitely burning into it, but there's... It's kind of random wear and tear. Uh, on the car, unless you crash, where it's also random, but, like, I think it's more likely to be... Physical damage. Uh, so I'm just trying not to crash. I'm trying to drive clean, fast, and not crash. It's a tricky thing. Especially now we're going down the mountain. So we're just we're, ju we're actually doing the stage that we were doing before, Mount Kenya, in reverse now. That's what the Dash R means in that splits timer. Um, and that means we're going down the mountain. It's a good game though. It's a good game. I enjoyed these Art of Endurance challenges. Enjoyed the first one. Shit. It's also a multi-stage uh, or a multi-rally thing, so it's not just this one. We're going to go to every country, I think, or maybe only four or something like that. But multiple countries that are in the game do multiple ten-stage rallies. This will be the hardest, I think. Or maybe not. So this will be the longest rally? Because uh, this has the longest stages. Other than Germany. But I think Germany's less hard. Uh, Germany will... Pro actually, Germany, if it's on... If we're doing Germany, Germany will be the hardest. Because as soon as we go into the rain... Uh, there's, like, rocks on the side of the road in Germany. Called Hinkelsteins. Um, and, yeah. If you kind of do what I'm about to do here... Okay, that was absolutely perfect, but if, like, I would have been very close to dying. Like, here, I'd be dead now, because there'd be a big tombstone, basically. They're actually the graves of the uh, rally drivers who didn't listen to their co-driver's instructions.
The one slightly strange thing about this championship is that... Are there consequences for running over people? You can't run anybody over, they teleport out of the way. Except for when they don't quite teleport out of the way perfectly. Um, because the game doesn't like people teleporting out of the way. <laughs> so it kind of makes them move. But no, you can uh, go straight through the people. It's their fault anyway. And this is on low crowd density as well. It's really annoying when they're crowding up a corner. But like, can you imagine... Oh shit. Please have finished before I crashed. You get... You don't take damage after the finish line. Even if you crash. So I'm hoping that I... My front wheels, that's what stops the timer. Uh, the front wheels hopefully got across the line, and then I crashed. <laughs> Otherwise, we may have steering issues. We'll see now. Nah, I think I think we survived. I think we did all right. Trying to hear something. I think I've got a puncture, maybe. I don't think so. The car would be pulling to the right or left if I only had it. If I had a puncture, or wouldn't be gripping or whatever. I'd notice, I think. But there's not a very good visual cue. Because the tyres do kind of just squish into the ground a little bit in the game. Do not want to take off.
Into the rain we go. What repairs? Not doing too badly. Not doing too badly. Okay, I don't have a puncture. I've wasted some time to learn that I do not have a puncture. I don't think I've ever got a puncture in this game, to be fair. Or at least the marker to repair it has never come up. I was close to killing myself on that wall. Oh, I love driving in the rain on this game. Oops, bit overturned there.
fine, it's fine. The car is definitely feeling the hits now though. I am very tired, so I um, apologise for potentially not the most entertaining uh, commentary, but I'm trying to mostly focus. God, <laughs> the super long stage. Where are we at now? Not too bad, I've only lost one more spot on the gearbox, I think, from memory. Now we're smoking. Great. Right out the start gate. Car's just started smoking. That's going to really annoy me. Just the graphic of that does actually annoy me. Losh. It appears to have potentially mildly put out the fire that uh, is causing that smoke. That engine, just absolutely not having it right now. Yeah, it's not having it. Come on, buddy. Only a little bit longer. Yeah. It's weird because it's like not even 
halfway done, is it? In terms of like, oh fucking hell! I didn't see. Oh shit! I didn't see the corner because of the tree. Yeah, there's another corner that's like that, where it's kind of blind. I think it's it sort of goes over. The, oh yeah, it, um, it's in Kenya, but I can't remember exactly where it is. But you, it kind of you sit, you hit a tree going round a corner, and then it's blind over the top of a hill. And I always forget that it goes left, then right after the top of the hill, and end up like just sliding out because I forget to. I realise there's a turn there, but I forget that there's kind of an uphill. Yeah, once you've done them a few times, it's it's unique. But I haven't actually played this track backwards that much, I feel. Yeah, this... Um it's unlikely I'm going to be beating any PBs on this. This split system's weird. <laughs> The final track, Round Lake. Oh, wait, there's two lakes, aren't there? Lake Nakuru. In an absolutely dying and destroyed car. I'm losing speed. It's better to stay in gear four. Yeah, this is my first try of the rally. The fact I didn't jump that and like normally in group two you'd be absolutely sending these. Like I'm basically just going at group two speeds. Yeah, I'd be flat through there in group two. Thirty two fifty five nine seven one. Sick. Right. 